Dean Huber. Um, I run the CFC Arena in Hamden, and uh, we are going to start our 18th year. Um, so I've been involved in sports facilities. Um, I got my undergraduate degree in sports management from University of New Haven, went on and got my master's up at Southern New Hampshire, and then I've been involved in sports facilities ever since. I want to say 10 to 15 years, probably. I've been there quite a while. Kind of any session I attend, I usually get at least one to two, you know, key points or, or key dynamics that I can bring back and implement right away. Um, I do have um, some calls in with Mark from um, Base Sports Group Marketing. Uh, I've been working with him. Um, I deal with Bond Sports a lot now, so they were there. Um, so a lot of different people that I'm just able to connect with and learn from. I think having the medley of speakers were good just to speak about everything that's coming up in our industry, the trends and really the predictions of where we think this industry is going. Um, well, Mark, I attended his session. Um, and he's doing a lot of sports marketing and, and I like what he said in the session and we've been chatting ever since the convention um, Just trying to work together um, and make it mutual for for both parties uh, make it effective for both parties um, I think the biggest takeaway from um, this organization and from the convention is really the networking um, I have a group that I talk to I talk to um, three managers slash owners all the time. If not more, we have a group chat going. So any single time anything comes up, we can always bounce ideas off of one another. I think it's good. I think it's good to get different ideas, um, see new products, what can make our facilities bigger and better um, or even more resourceful. Um, we use Ken for t-shirts a lot of times. Um, I deal with Bond Software, um, Bond Soft, um, Bond Sports. Those guys there, like I met Social Cookie for the first time, um, Julie from there. Um, so it's good just to kind of, again, just get more ideas going. We've been using AI a lot since um, we had that session there. Um, I obviously knew about AI, but I didn't know how powerful it was, where you can create taglines and slogans and even go as far as creating um, logos or brand images. And I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing um, information to use for any business, no matter what industry you're in. I think it's good to see other facilities in the same kind of level we are. Obviously we're at Tropicana Field, but a lot of us are not running that type of facility. Um, we're running smaller facilities and you know this year we attended where they were doing the cornhole. So you know some of the stuff I already implement, but then you can throw in another tweak or, or add a different thing. Um, again, it just gets those uh, juices flowing and just gets everything going in your mind of how you can improve your own facility. Again, it's just another avenue for us to network, obviously a little more relaxed. And I feel a lot of times the best sales pitch is one when you're not pitching at all, right? When you're just sitting there in a relaxed atmosphere and just chatting away and say, hey, oh, this is what you do, tell me about it, that sort of stuff. Um, I think the Women's Social, second year now that we had it, I think that was great because there's really only a few of us as far as like an owner slash high general manager standpoint for females in this facility or in this industry. Um, so I think it's important that we do elevate each other and then bringing on um, the USL uh, Super League president, Amanda Vandervoort, again, another um, high performing female and just we've just been breaking the barriers and this is kind of that type of social that shows that we're here to support one another. was good. Um, the stories were obviously amazing um, that the individuals had and it shows how much they've given back to this industry. Um, so I think it was good just to recognize those people and I didn't even know them um, prior to that but then obviously was able to chat with them throughout the weekend. 
We're heading to New Orleans. Um, so obviously we'll see some, I'm hoping to see some different facilities down there, a different part of the country versus um, Connecticut where I am. So just getting um, more ideas and I'm hoping as we keep rotating around the country that we get different um, entrepreneurs and different facility owners to attend just to, to share more ideas. I say just bring an open mind. Um, obviously, you know your core programs and events, but by networking, by talking with others, they run into the same problems you have most likely, or they're just gonna be able to enhance what you already do. So as far as I'm concerned, US Indoor, like that's its number one value, right? Is we're able to gain so many more customers, participants, which then equals into the revenue dollars, which just helps um, each facility within our industry.